Center Cobb Comedy Club. Awesome. You know from the Dollar Podcast, please slap your hands together for Gareth Reynolds. All right, here we go. Showtime. What are we dealing with tonight? Who are these people? Moha, Blue. Noted. On their phones. Sisters? No. Who's that? That looks drunk. These two are drunk. What's you. your deal? Is that my brother? No, no, no. I hear... No. I hear a few people. Okay. No, it's not... Thank you, miss. Two people said Gareth. The rest of you said Gary. Um... Yeah, there's no material this evening. Uh, so if it's garbage, you know, that's partially your fault. So, and I like that, I feel good about that. Together? Yeah, all right. Doesn't feel super romantic right off the bat. Feels uh, going good? Going all right. Yeah, it feels like it's going all right. Feels like the right answer. It's going, now he's holding her hand. He's like, come on, baby, let's pretend. Come on, come on. Be the beard you promised you'd be. You said you'd fulfill that role. How did you meet? Uh, work. Work. What is work? Uh, we're gardeners. You're gardeners? Gardeners for the city. So this is taking on a bit of a porny vibe, honestly. A couple of gardeners, like Adam and Eve, kind of. Just sort of, we met in a garden. And then, can I, I would like to picture that one day you sort of parted some shrubs, miss, and you were like, who the fuck is that tall drink of water over there? A man mirage, or is that for mama? And then what's the first move? You're like, you like whacking weeds, huh? How long you been together? Four and a half years. Four and a half years, okay. Marriage, maybe? Hopefully. Oh, I like that you're acting like you're in the passenger seat of this, sir. He's like, yeah, who did? I hope so. You never know if it's possible. You'd never... It's impossible to tell, isn't it? Right? All right. Well, that's cool. Well, good for you. Ant, is she any animals? Anything like that? Frogs. Okay. I'm going to... Sometimes you go one question too far in this stuff, and that's... That's just kind of how it is. You just... You're like, I'll ask one more question. You're like, any animals? And he just, like, a gun on his hip said, frogs. What a gardener pet frogs is. <laughs> How many frogs? I must know. Four? One for each year we've been together. Each year we get another frog, like rings in a tree. How long have you two been together? We'll go count our frogs. You're right. I'm sorry I asked. Wow, five years. That's great. Still not married. We don't know if it's possible. Huh? The fuck? Good for you. That's hot. <laughs> Turned on by that, sir? Uh, yeah, it's hot, right? Yeah, a little frog love, yeah. You're holding hands. Were you holding hands before I started talking to them? Did you realize once I started ripping on him, you were like, give me that fucking hand. Give me the hand. Give me the hand. Give me the hand. Oh, there we go. How did you two meet? Uh, eight fateful years ago. Okay, and um, when I said, how did you two meet, and you answered with a number, what happened there? I didn't say, how many frogs have you been together? I said, how did you two meet? Eight frogs. We've been together for eight frogs. How's that sound? Together? No. Friends? Yeah. Friends? How did, how did this, what's that? We're entrepreneurs from Central Valley. You're entrepreneurs from Central Valley. Entrepreneurs is my favorite job. That's like, sometimes you go on like dating apps and that'll be someone's job and you're like, unemployed, okay. I'm an entrepreneur, sure you are, yeah. So are you entrepreneurs who work together? No. no you're separate entrepreneurs. Across, so you, one would think that this should not be a friendship. Entrepreneurs across the street from each other, this feels like it should be rivals. He owns a record store. I own a pizzeria. You guys know that somebody's already beaten you to that territory, right? 
To me, entre- maybe it's just my version of entrepreneurs is like an inventor to some extent. You're not that. No. no. You just have a record place. Yes. And you a pizza place. Yes. And you guys are like, we both sell circles that people like. <laughs> this can work. And is that what your entrepreneurship is based on? Your pizza and your records? Yes. Yes. So I just, not to dig in too deep, but one would think that you were just people who ran businesses. Okay, then you're business owners. Now what about this takes you from the level of business owner? (laughs) This is what happens when you're in San Francisco. People are like, I actually, I've invented a business. Okay. I'm not getting laid after owning a pizza shop. I'm an entrepreneur. And then is that how you met across the street? You were like, this son of a bitch is a real entrepreneur. (laughs) Records? Nobody's ever heard of this idea before. Is that what happened? We mainly just drink beers. We're alcoholics. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The simplest way to get one of my crowds on your side is to just be like, we have drinking problems. All right. It started off weird, but then they won me over with their drinking issue. You're giving off strong, you don't want to talk to me energy, sir. And that, for me, makes me want to talk to you. Your mask and your shirt match. You're looking away every time there's a lull. You're like, don't look at him. And then he, his vision is based on movement. He will not be able to pick up on you. What do you do for work, sir? Unemployed. Unemployed, okay, all right. You know, sir, I've got a solution to that. Just say you're an entrepreneur. You don't need to say that anymore. You're an entrepreneur. Together? Yes. Yeah? How long? Three and a half. Three and a half. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Meet how? Uh, An app. An app. That's how people do it these days. It's especially in this fucking town. Um, (laughs) That's how these guys met. Yeah. They met on Bump Up Credentials. Um, Which one? Which app? I'm sorry, what the fuck is it called? Coffee Meets Bagel? All right, there's officially too many dating apps when one of them is called Coffee Meets Bagel. I know how it happened. You were the only two on it, and you're like, oh, fuck, someone else is on this shit. The headquarters of Coffee Meets Bagel were like, guys, you're not going to believe this. We've got a second person signing up. Has anyone here ever heard of Coffee Meets Bagel? Jesus Christ. What a sad town. What a sad, sad town. Did anyone else here meet on Coffee Meets Bagel? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? I can tell it's going well, too, because you two just high-fived, which is the sign of a couple in love. Fuck yeah. So how many options are you given a day? So they give you two. Women get more than men? No, men got more than women. How many, and you, how many do you get a day? I got like 10. 10, and you got what, like five? five? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like how the economy works, kind of. They're just like, women get half as much. That's what, that's equality in America, and that's what we're gonna go with. There we go, fair, fair, fair. Okay, all right, oh, it sounds like dog shit. I'll be honest, I really, I'm happy for you two. And then, have you deleted Coffee Meets Bagel since? Yeah. Yeah, you know, she hasn't acknowledged, she hasn't answered the question, sir. You answered the question immediately, like, oh yeah, it's gone. She was like. (laughs) Women get five. (laughs) That's official, for sure. Anyone have a weird story of how they met? Anyone got a crazy story outside of that? Weird job? Yeah, what do you got? So we met at a concert where we both went to the concert with our previous Ooh, spicy. And you were together at the time when you were at the concert, yeah. We, no, we were we each with our other boyfriend. Yep, yeah. right, yep. And then the boyfriend and girlfriend, two weeks later, were like, hey, I met this person at the concert, and then they introduced us. Doing what that. the fuck? <laughs> so you independently go, then your significant others meet each other at the concert. What, what, how? We were... It's like a, on the balcony, all of our friends are just... They were standing on the rail, Uh huh. Her boyfriend, if he could move so that my girlfriend could get a better view. 
And then he was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Should I fuck her? <laughs> yeah, you want me to move so she has a better view? What if I just fuck her and take her away from you? Is that a good plan too? How about this? I'll do you one better. I'm going to start dating her. And uh, yeah, is that good for you? Yeah, yeah, no problem. No, she deserves a better view and a better relationship. She deserves a lot of better shit. I'm going to give it all to her. Man. The butterfly effect of that mo You're just like, could she see a little bit better? Okay, and then, so they break up with you. We broke up with them. Well, to be fair, sir, I don't know. Uh, it's quite a political way of saying it. On the contrary, we broke up with them. On account of we don't like when our significant others fuck other people. So I ended it. Okay, so they, bro you broke up with them. I like that you're sure about that. You're like, we broke up with them, asshole. I don't get broken up with. You guys, were you meeting up to sort of commiserate over how silly that was? That, no. That, no. We went on an app and then realized who we were. Oh, you? <laughs> was it coffee, meat, donut? <laughs> and he's like, please. She's like, I knew you looked familiar. I only saw 10 men on the motherfucker. I really, I remember them all. So you matched on the app, then you went out, and then do, is, do you, are you, I mean, by the way, this is like NBC right now is like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> is there, do you ever see your ex-significant other? No, you're done with them. Not now, no. No. Well, yeah, I, mean, I, I know at the time you did. <laughs> then you made the terrible move of asking for someone to scooch. <laughs> how long, when, how long ago was that? That was three years ago, 2019. Fucking A, that's so crazy. And you two, are they still together? No. They broke up. They only went on one date. They went on one date. Yeah, we were the ones that got together. So they threw it all away for one date? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They broke up because they wanted to go out so bad because of the rail thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good concert. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not for everybody. That's fucking nuts. Nobody can beat that, right? Yeah, everyone's like, no, fuck no. That's, uh, that's a pretty good one, to be totally honest. Mohawk? Good day to you. Is it a blue mohawk? Yes, it is. Well, nice. I made him diet fresh tonight. You, wow, sounds like a great relationship you found yourself in, sir. Diet fresh for tonight, asshole. We're going out. He's like, but I'm a rebel. Diet. Uh, mm, I don't like blue. It's my mood hair. Hmm. I'm feeling blue like my mohawk. How long you had a mohawk, sir? Uh, since 1992. Holy shit. Yeah. Look, he's Statue of Liberty. He's... I am the king of the audience. What, uh... Never, never shaved it? Never gone... For court twice. <laughs> That tracks. <laughs> right, they're like, oh, yeah, right. They're like, well, he's just a skinhead. He can live in America. He's okay. What did you go to court twice for? Oh. And sir, to not, either you don't remember or it's pretty bad. She's like, you don't remember? It was for ramp slaughter. And then you, you took all that money from that gas station. You don't remember, Barry? <laughs> to say. She's like, I got it. Don't worry. I got receipts for this motherfucker. He dies in blue because he knows I know where the bodies are buried. <laughs> diet blue or I fucking call the FBI. I got it right. 9-1 diet blue. That's what I thought, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't have to say what you went to court for, but. No, no. There's been many reasons. There's been, well, so it's been more than twice that you've gone to court. Other times you wore the mohawk. I'm with the Mohawk. So you've gone to court a lot of times since 1992. <laughs> yes, okay, I love you. I appreciate your honesty tremendously. I'm enjoying it, okay. So, yeah, okay. Well, we don't know what he went there for yet. You guys might be killed in a parking lot later, so might be one entrepreneur down. He's gonna be like, shit, where's my record buddy?
One shop owner dead. Well, it's not him. My buddy's an entrepreneur. Can't be him. I was worried I was missing Dan for a while, but he's an entrepreneur. And did you find the treatment for the, from the judge different with the mohawk? Uh, yes, they don't like the mohawk. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Are you finding a lot of this out for the first time, Miss? No, Do you see? Okay. Not. This is our second time dating in three years. So. This is your second time dating in three years. So you mean you had a dating and then, and then the wait a minute. Do you know those two people right back there? <laughs> Did they look familiar? Miss, were you, did you want a better shot at a concert? Were you like, can, can you get him to scooch? He's like, were you scoot? Oh. <laughs> okay, so you've. No, 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 I walked up to a New Year's Eve party and there was a really hot guy with crazy boots and a blue mohawk. And I was like, he's some kind of guy. And I left and we matched on Tinder a few weeks later and he's like, did you steal liquor from my friend's New Year's Eve party? They yes, sir. And I was Nobody like, likes an initiation like that more than me. Instead of being like, hey, how's your weekend going? You just start off with, did you steal liquor from my friend's party? <laughs> what prompted the initial breakup? If that's too much, you can tell me to fuck off. Uh, we were both drinking too much. You were both drinking too much. Did you take liquor from the New Year's party? No. <laughs> Sir, do you think she did? So. <laughs> I don't know, let's go. By the way, you can tell he's been to court a bunch. He's like, just one more thing, Your Honor. <laughs> The evidence, listen to you. You're like, I've been to court once. This ain't my first rodeo. Me and a friend brought four bottles of champagne to this party. It was the only champagne at the party. Nice. Four bottles. Her and her friends show up. They hang out for 40 minutes. They leave. We go to pop the bottles. There's only three. Mm. I run into her on Tinder within a week. And the first sentence on her Tinder profile said that she liked three things. I forget what the first one was. But it was something breakfast burritos, and champagne. <laughs> the defense rests, Your Honor. The defense rests. <laughs> Miss, it's not great. I mean, it's really, yeah, yeah. Did you have any relationships in, when you took the break in between the three years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. All right, relax, sir, Jesus Christ. She was like, sort of. He was like, fuck yeah, I mean, I really, I put my coffee in the donut, you know what I'm saying? I really... <laughs> Together? I've considered it, but not gonna happen. You've considered it? So, yeah, oh, I like that she's like, that's so scandalous. <laughs> my blue mohawk boyfriend lives in a courtroom, but what you said is shocking. As a bottle of champagne drops her under her shirt and smashes. Okay, fine, I fucking took it. Fine, I fucking took it, okay? Fuck. And I stole the breakfast burrito and whatever the first thing is. <laughs> You're the real Tinder swindler. That's what you are. How did you two meet? I, don't nudge each other. That's not... Shit, you tell him. Fuck you, you tell him. 32 frogs ago. 32, so you've been together for 32 frogs. Uh, yeah. Isn't it nice that you have now created a system of years. <laughs> 32 frogs and nobody laughed. Everyone was like, oh, that's so long. 32 frogs. How many frogs have you been married? 22. 22 frogs married. Wow, Jesus Christ. How did you meet? Love at second sight. Love at second sight? <laughs> You're not getting laid tonight, sir. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Judging on her reaction, she was like, no, 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 no. You're gonna wait half a frog until we fuck again. <laughs> Anyone hammered? Woo! Yeah, hammered. How did you two meet? Oh, no. okay. Yeah, that'll teach you to be enthusiastic, won't it? She's like, fuck, I just wanted to say I was drunk. What the fuck? No. Are you together? Yeah. Yes. How, no? <laughs> no? No. No, oh, that's the go-to. Women are like, we are together. <laughs> no, we're not. I mean, we sometimes drink wine and kiss. I'm sorry, I've said too much. Sometimes happens. She just gave me a job. She gave you a job. What job did she give you? Uh, <laughs> Easy does it now. Easy does it. Scientist, man. Scientist? Yeah. You're both scientists? Yeah. Okay. He's fucking out of here. You see him? He's like, scientist portion of the show. Take fucking care, motherfuckers. I'm gonna go. 
I'm gonna go beat up a guy in an alley. <laughs> now here's where you see how dumb I am as I attempt to have a conversation with scientists about science. <laughs> what kind of scientists? All about nucleotides. We make oligonucleotides. Oh, okay. I know. I actually know a lot about oligonucleotides. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it true that around five o'clock the nucleotides gets a little lower? <laughs> Excuse me? Six. six, around six? Yeah, okay. No, no, I'm having fun. But ocleonucleotides, that's awesome. I was actually reading an article recently uh, about nucleotides. Tell me what you think about this. A lot of people think that nucleotides are not as prevalent as they were about 10 to 15 years ago. Do you, are you noticing that there is a sort of a scarcity to the, I pronounced it perfectly and dropped the fucking thing slippery as shit. Um, I don't know what happened. Wouldn't you think it maybe is in us? You, you put it in, in the oligo. You put it in the oglio? Sure. Yeah. The nucleotides go in the aglio. Yeah, absolutely. The fuck is the blue mohawk guy? I really, he's been gone for like an hour. I feel like I miss him. He was, we were on the same page. What did you do before COVID? What was your calling? What the fuck did any of us do before COVID? I don't know. Cannabis testing lab? I wasn't even asking you, but okay, great. Yeah, I was talking to her, yeah. She was in college. Okay, all right. Don't get pissed off at her for being in college. She was in college. Talk to me, motherfucker. I worked in weed. So you were working in cannabis. Sure. He's right back. As soon as cannabis comes up. As soon as scientist was said, he was gone. As soon as cannabis was established, his ass was back in the seat. I think he just crawled under the table for a little while. Together, friends? Live together. Is there any hint of hooking up or no? You're just platonic roommates, yeah. Is it just you two? Oh, Maybe God. if she wasn't sober. If she wasn't sober, it might happen? So in other words, you need her to grease the wheels a little bit to make a move. What an amazing position you're in where you're like, fall off the wagon and I'll fucking take advantage of you. Come on. How long have you been off the uh, booze? Uh, I quit right before the pandemic. Well, bo smart decision. Yeah, honestly, great call. Because if, yeah, if you feel like you're teetering and then you go into the pandemic, like the pandemic opened me up to drinking on levels where I was like, I'm living like Winston Churchill right now. This is not, like I'd be like, nothing wrong with a gin martini before a 2 p.m. bath. I'd be like, buddy, get your fucking shit together. What was your drink of choice? Wine. Wine, yeah, also dangerous. Also dangerous, because you can be like, you're like, I didn't drink too much. Just two and a half bottles. Hmm? <laughs> I'm okay. And what do you drink, Miss? Oh, I also like wine. You like wine. Well, that sucks for her. <laughs> She's just sitting behind you like, how is it? <laughs> Describe it to me. Like, you could kiss a little off my tongue if you wanted. <laughs> Suck some tannins off a of mama's tongue. <laughs> what are you whispering about, sir? Sir, what did you what did you just whisper to her? My drink to get watered down because it was freaking strong. Your your drink is too strong. Yeah. And what an amazing complaint. She's like, I got your back, motherfucker. Bring it over here. Not a problem I had. Alone? Yep. Yeah. Oh, they put you over in the corner, huh? They were like, Do you have anyone with you? You're like, No. They're like, Stash her. <laughs> if I'm gonna look at it like negatively for myself, it was that you couldn't find anyone to come to my show with you. And that's the reality, isn't it? Are you alone? Get the fuck over there. Come, huh? Or do you want to go over there? This is how friendships happen. There we go. Miss, take the long way, really. Make it as long. Now I feel like I've Price is right at the crowd. You're the next concession on the friend is right. There you go. Fuck yeah. There we go. Magic. Fucking beautiful. And you're like, I actually like to sit alone, to be honest, sir. So. 
you left your purse over there just in case. Smart, I hear there's not a lot of crime in this town, so that's, uh, that's a good call. By the way, you know who's over there, right? Fucking Blue Mohawk is right over there. You're not gonna see that fucking purse again. Are you kidding me? That's champagne money to those two. What do you do, miss? Hairdresser, okay. What about you? Lawyer. Okay. Oh, By the way, yeah. Does he look familiar? No. Well, I guess I could ask you the same question. Does he look familiar? No. Both of you could answer. They're the perfect coupling for this gentleman here. The two things we've talked about with you are represented right over there occupationally. What do you do? I work with hair. And you? I know him from court. Okay. All right. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all coming out for real. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me talk to you. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bless your heart. I'll see you next, Frog. <laughs> <laughs>